today, hello everyone, by the way. What we have here today is a 1938 Gibson Royce Max Stage Deluxe. What was originally built as a Hawaiian style guitar for playing Hawaiian lap steel, it was converted later, we don't know, we don't know by who, not by us, to, uh, for Spanish playing. And this was a rather mild conversion that only the fingerboards were uh, the fingerboard was radius, the original Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, and frets added. Uh, nothing else. The, the neck was not touched. It has uh, the original shaped neck with a very pronounced V and the uh, full two inches nut width. Um, so, uh, what else to say about this guitar? It was. Uh, it has the original finish throughout, uh, and uh, a very stable B string crack, small but stable, and stable. And it has the uh, just a finish check here at the um, on uh, uh, where the two halves of the top are joined. Um, nothing else to report. The sides are, look like you know they're crack free, and the back is definitely crack free and possibly uh, in one piece, it could be one piece mahogany. Uh, the uh, tuners are uh, Grover's correct and vintage correct. Uh, there might have been some other tuners at some, t at some point in time as there's uh, signs of other tuners. Uh, someone must have put the originals in place or the correct, vintage correct uh, Grover. So anyway, the tuners are correct and nice and they work beautifully much better than the modern waveries by the way um, so what did we do to it um, when the guitar came into a shop it had the original bridge that was modified uh, to slap the saddle uh, for compensation uh, because the original uh, Hawaiian guitars have a straight saddle so instead of messing further with the original saddle we much prefer uh, with the original bridge uh, sorry about that we much prefer to uh, unglue the bridge and put it in the case and leave it alone and make a replica out of Brazilian rosewood that looks like it came from the same board as the uh, uh, fingerboard. We're pretty lucky in finding the right piece with the correct uh, color. And we finished it uh, in nitrocellulose lacquer and then we treated it, relicked it, so to speak, so that it looks like it came originally with the guitar from 1938. Um, same we did with the saddle. Um, the bridge pins are bone, but they look like they're not original, of course, but we left them alone as they look the part and they're pretty cool. So there's no reason to replace the uh, bone pins. Other than that, uh, it is a, is good. A Rose Max steel, uh, Rose Mac um, stage deluxe guitar, uh, as one could hope for. equally well with the pick or just with the fingers and they have so much volume but uh, even more clarity if anything if possible and you can get a good tone with a light touch or hit them hard
For anyone wondering this uh, inlay at the first fret, we don't know the origin. Might as well be original or not. It's very well executed. It's mother of pearl and it's just cool looking. And the uh, the theme, the half moon and the star is anyway Gibson. -y. You can see it often on, uh, on original Gibsons from the turn of the century. The uh, uh, bracing pattern is uh, two non-scalloped tone bars. I think I've uh, said all that there is to say about this guitar. Oh, the asking price is 9,000 euros, which is a good market price for a, I would say, rather perfect Royce Max Stage Deluxe. And it comes with the non-original um, sturdy hard shell case. So anyone interested, please get in touch and we'll be happy to uh, hear from you. Uh, in the meanwhile, please subscribe to our channel and until next time.